This is what's left of a once thriving market in the far northern region of Cameroon. It was burned down in fighting about access to water in the region. This mobile phone footage shows armed herders in Kusieri looking for water points to feed their cattle, fighting with fishermen and farmers unwilling to share their wells. Four months after the end of a rainy season that brought little rainfall, people are willing to kill for a drop of water. This vendor says this is a war fueled by lack of water spilling across the region, with the government standing by doing little to stop the fighting. At the local hospital, injured rival herders and farmers get treatment side by side after days of violence. The situation is tense. The governor offers envelopes of cash, but for many, this is not enough. Overall, the situation has become calm again. Shops have been gradually reopening since yesterday, and so far we have not recorded any hotbed of tension. We will continue to receive communities, associations, and all those who want to make a contribution to the restoration of peace. While Cameroon's president sends his ministers to the region to mediate, more than 30,000 people have fled to neighboring Chad where President Mohamed Idris Debi is calling for urgent humanitarian assistance. The displaced left behind their homes and belongings, but brought with them tales of horror. I was tortured by seven people from the Arab community. I was seriously wounded on my back by machetes and almost died in the bush. Fortunately, my relatives found me and helped me to cross the river so I could be treated here. The conflict there has become very violent. I don't want to go back. Not enough water and thirsty for revenge. This is a conflict made worse by a changing climate. With months to go before next year's rainy season, the people of Cameroon's far north fear the fight for water has only just begun. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.